Okay guys, this one is going to be extremely quick because this is not a, really a project but more a um, just a fun thing you can try. I think I used some materials here that y'all might not have, so that's why I'm not assigning it. It's a little bit, you know, gotta have straight lines and everything. And I used a thin tip marker for this, which I know not all of you have. Um, as you can see here, I took some tape and I traced out a circle on a small piece of paper and now I'm grabbing a ruler. I'm going to use that ruler to make a grid on this tiny piece of paper. I want to comment that the more lines you put on your circle, the more optical illusion-y it will look, the more lines that cross over your circle. So right now, we haven't drawn any lines inside of our circle. That's because we're going to distort these lines that uh, cross over our circle or intersect with our circle. We're going to use um, a slight curve to make it look like in this circle, it's, it's sort of bulging out of the paper. So I have a line that's right around the middle there and I know where the middle is on the other side so based on that I'm going to make these lines sort of curved in the direction of uh, the the ball really that it is so on the bottom edge of the ball those curves are going to be facing downwards and then on the top part of the ball they're going to be facing upwards with a gentle upward curve I think you guys can do this you know how to um, make a, a basketball or something like that this is a uh, this is pretty much the same thing take your time with this because to make it really look nice you just have to take your time here I sort of wish I put more lines that were crossing over onto the edge of my circle because I think the more lines that you put on here the the more the optical illusion really works but with the lines that I have here, I think I created enough to make the illusion happen. So, uh, maybe put more lines on there if you want. It does make more work for you, of course. Uh, but I do think it will look better the more you can um, sort of sell that illusion of it bulging out of the paper. All right, right around here, I'm going to grab a Sharpie and start filling in um, the large majority of my squares. What I'm doing here for a lot of the time is I'm either outlining the, the corners of the squares or I'm drawing the majority of the color in because with my Sharpie, I feel like I can't get into those tight corners of all the squares I made. So I'm going to end up grabbing a marker with a thinner tip that allows me to color in those corners a little bit more neatly. So I'll be doing that pretty soon, but for now I'm just filling in some of these uh, squares with a Sharpie. Here I am finishing up the rest of my squares. This is a time lapse video. I am going very fast and you can see first I'm drawing or outlining all those corners and now I am filling them in with a solid black color. I'm then going to erase the lines. You can give this a shot and I hope you enjoy this project guys. Bye bye.